I wake up and I immediately have to check in on my emotions. There was a time in my life when I could barely pull myself out of bed and putting on a fake smile in public was the hardest thing I had to do. I was drowning in self-pity from an experience with enormous emotional pain. But the good news is that I came to understand that my emotions had a positive and significant purpose in my life and in yours. I'm Michelle, and what I'm about to reveal to you not only changed my life in many ways, but it made me feel empowered and I learned how to create joy again in my life. I learned that our thoughts are the match that triggers this beaming flame, which is our emotions. And that beaming flame can either burn us and destroy us, or that beaming flame can ignite our joy and heal us. When I change my thought, I change the way I feel. When someone shared that hard truth with me, I said, are you kidding me? Like, I'm a woman who just experienced unthinkable trauma, and you're telling me I can change the way I feel? What I realized after a while is that this had been going on far too long in my life and that I was clinging and hanging on to these thoughts that were creating beams of pain and unhappiness. So I had to let go and exchange those because I wanted to ignite joy and happiness, not unhappiness. And I know if you're in the beginning of grief, some great loss or trauma, you're going to need time to heal. But I'm telling you that none of us have to stay stuck there and be victims of what happens to us in our life. We may not ever be the same person, but we can be victor instead of victim. Because at some point in our life, we do need to make a choice. And it is a choice whether we want to believe it or not. That we can change the way we think. Now, this beaming light is also your mentor because a mentor doesn't do things for you. A mentor is someone who's guiding you, and that's the other purpose of your emotion. It's guiding you to look back at whatever that thought was that created how you felt. And when you do that, now you have a choice to say, do I want to feel this way the rest of the day, the week, the year? Or do I want to consciously, now that I know, make a choice to think about something that's going to make me feel better? I'm not saying that this is easy. It takes practice. And in some sense, you're rewiring your brain. But it can empower you to think differently and to actually change your life. So I am glad that you're here and I am asking you to ask yourself this question. Have you ever felt stuck and kept reliving the same situation that happened in the past that you had no control over and you were letting it steal your joy? I invite you to subscribe to this channel because this video is the first in a reveal series, just like I revealed today about following the light to peace and joy. And we all deserve peace and joy. So I want to say goodbye until next Tuesday. Each morning at six o'clock, you will be getting a new tip and I hope to see you there. Bye-bye. Love and peace, joy.